is Sana Pillow here. I am here to do a review on Little Women of Atlanta, Season 5, Episode 11. Okay, the um, title of this episode is called Made of Dishonor. Alright, this, this um, episode starts out with Minnie. Uh, Minnie goes to Andrea's house. Apparently, there, uh, Minnie and Andrea are driving from um, um, Atlanta to Dallas for um, Amanda's wedding. And, um, okay, so Minnie goes to Andrea's house, and Andrea comes out with two suitcases. So Minnie asks her, Where are you, where's your dress and your shoes, your wedding dress and your wedding shoes? And Andrea tells her that um, she's not um, getting married. Her and Chris aren't getting married. They broke up, and Minnie is shocked. I don't understand why she's just now telling her while they're getting ready to drive do that long drive from Atlanta to Dallas. She's just now telling Minnie that, you know, she's not getting married. Only Amanda and Jordan are getting married. But anyway, so they go to get in the car, and Minnie, Minnie was getting into the passenger side, and she falls down. I'm glad she didn't hurt herself, but it was hilarious. It was so funny. Her and um, um, Andrea end up laughing because it was just hilarious. I'm so glad she didn't hurt herself, though, but it was, had me laughing. I couldn't stop laughing. All right, so next scene is Bree goes to uh, Miss Juicy's office. And, um, you know, they're talking and everything. And Miss Juicy asks Bree if she told Emily if she recorded us, you know, that she recorded a solo. And Bree says no. And um, uh, Miss Juicy's shocked. She's like, you know, why didn't you tell her? And um, I think Bree is terrified of Emily. She's scared to tell Emily. Emily. She's scared what Emily's going to say or do to her. She's terrified. But anyway, they end up FaceTiming Emily and Miss Juicy tells them that she has a um, she got an interview for them with a, a hip-hop magazine called Salute, I think it was. It's the name of the ma ma magazine. So, um, she said, you know, they're going to talk about, they're going to try and pr promote their um, video of for, for, um, Why You Mad Sis, and they're going to just talk about what they have going on right now. And the uh, Cheeks, they're excited about that. Next up is Amanda and Jordan. They're packing to go to Dallas for the um, wedding. And um, Amanda tells Jordan that um, that Andrea um, called off the wedding and she broke up with Chris. And he's not surprised at all. So then Amanda tells him that she wants her sister, Andrea, to be her maid of honor. And she doesn't know how she's going to tell Minnie. And he said, well, you need to tell her now. And she goes, no, I'm going to wait till I get to Dallas to tell her. Because she's scared to tell Minnie. She don't want to hurt Minnie's feelings. But she decides she's going to wait until she gets to Dallas to tell um, Minnie that she's no longer maid of honor. So next up is Bree, Miss Juicy, and the journalist from the Salute magazine. It's a hip-hop magazine. And the journalist is there. His name is Montel. And they're going to, um, they FaceTime Emily so that he can do the interview with them. So during the interview, Montel, the journalist, is asking um, questions, and Bree's trying to answer the questions, but Emily overtakes her and talks louder than her and end up, act, you know, dominating everything and answer all the questions. And I'm like that. When I'm in a crowd, when I'm in a, a group of a whole bunch of people and we're talking and stuff, I tend to talk soft, and everybody's talking loud and over-talking me, and nobody can hear what I'm saying. And I always get overlooked. If you always say, why are you so quiet? Why are you so quiet? Because every time I try to talk, somebody overtalk me. So I can understand Bree, but Emily overtalks her and just takes control of the interview and answers all the questions. And Bree's just sitting there looking stupid. And I can relate to that because that happens to me all the time when I'm in a group of people and they're all talking and talking. I'm trying to say something and nobody can hear me because I talk soft. Everybody else is talking loud. So the same thing happens to me. But I think Emily needs to, uh, when it comes, um, not Emily, when it comes to Emily, Bree needs to raise her voice so that she can over talk Emily so that she can get you know be heard too so the next scene is the twins are in Dallas and they go to a flower shop to look for flowers for Amanda's wedding and the flowers that they're looking at I don't like them they're ugly they're bl they're boring they're just plain they're light yellow and white it's so boring and plain no colors no nothing but she seems to love it so and poor um Poor Andrea, she looks so sad because it was supposed to be her wedding too, but she looks so sad, but she's trying to put on a happy face for her sister. Next thing is the twins are at a restaurant with um, 
Andrea's little girl. Her little girl's name is Aubrey, I think. Aubrey. She is the cutest little baby girl. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. She's talking and she's talking Spanish. Um, Andrea is teaching how to count in Spanish. She's adorable. Oy. And um, they meet up with Emily, of all people. And um, Amanda asks Emily to, uh, to come to her wedding. She invites Emily to her wedding. And um, Andrea is surprised that she's asking Emily to come to her wedding because, they, you know, they're getting along now, but they're not close. So she, you know, she's, she's wondering why is um, Amanda inviting her to the wedding? So then um, Emily says she'd come, and then they said, let's FaceTime um, Bree, and they asked Bree if she'll come, and she said, sure. She said, yes, yeah, she'll be there. They're inviting um, the Cheeks, but they didn't invite Abira. I don't understand that when they're close, closer and they get along with Abira, but they're inviting the Cheeks. I don't, I don't understand that. So next scene is Andrea goes to a restaurant to meet her parents, to meet up with her parents. And let me see. They're getting into an in, de de in detail conversation. She tells... You know, she talks to them. They ask her what's, what's happening, what's going on. She talks to them about recording with the Cheeks. Her and her sister recording with the Cheeks. And, and then her dad finally got down to the nitty gritty. He says, I know uh, that the wedding is off between you and Chris. And her mom asks her what made her call it off. And she said she has trust issues. And then she tell, tells them how Chris has a job, got a job out of town. And her mom says... That's, um, that's his excuse for leaving. He always wants to leave and then come back, leave and come back. And it's true. That's what he does. He leaves and come back, leaves and come back. And his, her mom said, that's his excuse for leaving. And her dad said, he's a deadbeat. I mean, he'll always be a deadbeat. And, and her mom says, yeah, he's going to leave and then he's going to come back whenever he feels like it. And I definitely agrees with her. That's exactly what he does. Because he could have definitely gotten a job in Atlanta. And poor Aunt Andrea. She starts, she starts to cry. And her parents tells her that they're there for her. And she's not alone. And everything will be okay. And her dad says, um, not marrying him is a reason to throw a huge party. <laughs> her parents are great. They're very supportive, you know. I like them. They're, they're very supportive. I really like that. Anyway, next scene is Juicy is in Dallas, and she meets up with Moni and or Money, and they go sh they go shopping for um Amanda's wedding. And I hate what my mo Money Money is wearing. She's wearing these black tight short shorts. They look like they're squeezing her circulation. They look like they're just squeezing her to death. They're all tied up in the crotch area. They're really tight. Oh, they don't look good at all. And then she's wearing these knee, black knee length, knee length boots with thick soles, thick long soles. She don't look good at all. We should go home and change her clothes. She don't look good. I don't like it at all. Mm -mm. So um, apparently she doesn't know that um, Andrea and Chris aren't getting married. So Juicy tells her that Andrea and Chris are not getting married and that Andrea broke up with Chris. And she's shocked about that. So, let me see what they did now. So, Juicy asks um, Money how things are going with her son. I think his name is D2. I don't know what the name is that. I don't know. D2? I don't know. It's like a video game. Anyway. She says it's good to be able to see her son, but she's still going through a custody battle with her, with D2's dad. And uh, Juicy, you know, tells her that Emily... No, she tells... Juicy tells um, Money about Bree uh, recording solo. Um, and they eventually, they talk a little bit, and they eventually got a gift and leave out of the store. Next up is Jordan and um, Jordan, Amanda, Minnie, um, and the wedding planner. They go to the venue where Amanda and Jordan are having their wedding. It's a place called, it's like a ranch, and it's called the Lucky Spur. And the wedding planner is showing them where everybody's going to be standing, where the bridesmaid's going to be standing, where the groom is going to be standing, um, and where the um, maid of honor is going to be standing. And when she says that, Jordan kind of like taps 
a man on the shoulder, you know, tells, you know, I guess he wanted her to tell Minnie at that time that she's not made of honor. But um, Amanda was like, shh, 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 shh. <laughs> so anyway, they go inside to the reception area where they're going to be having the reception. It's ugly. To me, it's ugly. It's wooded and it's dark and it's, it looks ugly. I hope it looks better when it's decorated because right now, it looks, oh, I don't like the way it looks at all. But it's huge. It's big. Um, but Amanda and Jordan, they seem to like it. Minnie asked the um, wedding planner, where will she be sitting? You know, which at, at the table where she will be sitting. And then she tells Jordan and Amanda that, you know, she can't wait for them to hear her speech. And they're standing here, um, Jordan and Amanda, they're standing here looking all uncomfortable. So um, when they got outside, Amanda pulled Juice, Amanda pulled um, Minnie aside to let her know that, you know, she wants her sister, Andrea, to be her maid of honor. And um, Minnie gets upset. She starts crying. She says, I guess the same thing happened with money. Money was... She was supposed to be, Minnie was supposed to be Money's maid of honor, and at the last minute, Minnie, I mean Money, all these damn M's, at the last minute, Money changed her mind and told Minnie that she wasn't going to be her maid of honor. And she said she was hurt then and she's hurt now. She starts crying, and she tells Amanda that she wanted to be, she's her best friend, and she wanted to stand up there with her on her special day. And Amanda says, stop crying, you're going to be there, you're, you're going to be my bridesmaid, you're just not going to be my maid of honor. So then, um, Minnie, you know, says, I guess she says in her confessional, she's going to ask Andrea why she didn't tell her on the drive from Atlanta to Dallas, why she didn't tell her that she wasn't maid of honor anymore. So she's still pissed at that. So let's see what happened next. Yeah, so she says she's going to confront Amanda, I mean, Andrea at the um, bachelorette's party. That's no place to um, confront her. Call her right now or text her right now. Or when you get home, call her and text her and ask her. Don't wait to get her to the bachelor party to throw a scene, to cause a scene. That's ridiculous. Anyway, Juicy, Money, and Andrea. And I don't understand. They go to look at the venue. Amanda and Jordan and Minnie goes to look at the, ve the venue. Why wasn't Andrea there to look at the, menu also, the, the, the venue also? That doesn't make any sense. So anyway, um, Juicy, Money, and Andrea... They go to they go to this store called Stardust to shop for um, Andrea's made of honor dress, and that doesn't make sense either. Why is Juicy and Money with her to shop for her made of honor dress? Why isn't Amanda there with her sister to shop for her made of honor dress? She, as the bride, needs to know what her made of honor is gonna look like. That doesn't make any sense. I think all these scenes were um, set up by the uh, producers so that everybody can get their little segment in because there's. Juicy and Money should not have been there to um, pick out a maid of honor dress with Andrea. So they just threw them in there to give them some, some air time. You know, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, 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 this whole episode seemed like was set up by producers where they, everybody had to have their little air time. Everybody but Abira. She's the only one that didn't get air time. But this, all, this whole episode was like a producer set up. All the scenes where a producer set up. Why wasn't Andrea there at the venue to look at the venue with her sister? That doesn't make sense. It's, it's stupid. Anyway, because Minnie had to get her airtime. That's what that was Minnie's airtime. Everybody had to get an equal amount of airtime, I guess. It's, it was ridiculous. Anyway, um, the first dress Andrea tried on was hideous. And when she came out in the dress, um, money. And um, Miss Juicy tell her, oh, it looks nice. It looks great. I'm so glad she didn't listen to those fools. She said, I don't like it. And she went in and tried on another dress. And she came out in this gorgeous dress. It looked perfect on her. It looks so good. You know, I'm glad she has better taste than those two fools. What the hell are they talking about? It's all frumpy dress. They tell her, oh, it looks nice. It looks good. Oh, lacy, frumpy dress. Please. Anywho. Um. What's her name? Miss Juicy made a comment that um, when um, Andrea goes to catch the bouquet, Minnie's going to shove her out of the way so that she can catch the bou bouquet. She's so trifling. Anyway, it's time for the bachelorette party. And let me see who all is there. It's Bree, Juicy, Minnie, the twins, Money. 
Um, Emily is not here because I guess she's too pregnant to come to the club. And of course, Abira is not here because she was not invited. Yeah, or maybe she wasn't invited, but she decided she can't come because of her four kids. I don't know. But you never heard of her. Nobody just uh, talked about her. Nobody mentioned her. They didn't show her in this, ep in this episode at all. It's like she didn't even exist. Everybody got ear time but her. Okay, so let me see. Uh, so they're at this, this club. Everybody's there and they're, they're being served drinks and then they have a performance by drag queens. And then they were all getting ready to get on the dance floor and Minnie called Andrea back and, and said to her, how come you didn't tell me that I wasn't gonna be maid of honor on the long drive from Atlanta to Dallas? And Andrea got mad and she got loud and she said, it wasn't my place to tell you, it was um, Amanda should have told you. So, you know, they, you know, they're going back and forth and arguing and then Amanda see that they're arguing so she goes over there to calm everything down. You know, eventually, um, Andrea and Minnie apologized to each other, hug it out, and they all went on the dance floor and danced. And, um, they all seemed to be having a good time, and that was the end of this episode. And I can't wait for this show to end. It seems like the producers are just throwing people together that doesn't even make sense. Some of the scenes, they don't make sense. And it seems like the producers, you know, are in control of every single scene and it seems so fake and just I'm getting so tired of it so I hopefully the last they didn't show any um, previews so hopefully the next episode is the last episode is the finale and it's the wedding and we're done with this show because I'm sick and tired of it's feeling to me like it's um, set up by the producers all the scenes are set up by the producers I'm getting tired of it so anywho that was that for this week I'll come back with next week review we're just on a pillow here. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week. Bye.